Hello, hello, hello. This is Frida. Welcome to my channel. I've been working on a new stitch and I just want to introduce uh, you this gorgeous stitch. See how lovely it looks. It reminds me of one of the tutorials that I have done. I have knit a cardigan for my dad. Uh, 1997, no. 1995 or something yeah um but this one is way easier <laughs> i'm always trying to figure out figure out a way to uh, make it easier so uh for today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to knit this gorgeous stitch it's so easy okay and this is the back of the work so it's not the same it's not reversible but it gives you a different design similar to the first one just uh one um row uh not knit stitch here you can see it looks like a brio stitch doesn't it when you look at it carefully but there's a trick there's a trick to knit these stitches so i will show you how to knit okay so let's get started you need to cast a multiple of five plus two i already did on uh on a knitting needle here let me find it and I knit one row so I would highly recommend you to knit one row and come back and we'll start the uh, stitch the reason uh, I did one row is because when you cast on you, we don't I don't want to start on the wrong side so I am going to start right here and then this will be the front so let's get started cast on multiple of five plus two you can do 5, 5, 10, 12. You can do uh, anything you want, any number you want. Just do a multiple of 5 plus 2. Okay, I have 37 on my needle. And then I am going to be knitting a scarf. Okay, so uh, I already knit one row, so this is the front of the work. And I'm going to start right away. Here we go. So uh, the knitting needles, I'm using a five, and the yarn is a Bernat Super Saver or something like that. I love this yarn, love this, uh, but it's Bernat Soft. Okay, for the first stitch, I don't knit because this is going to be a scarf. You can knit anything with the stitch. Baby blankets would be perfect, especially for boys. The stitch, this pattern is just lovely. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're not going to knit the stitch. But we're going to pick it up as to knit in the yarn on the back and move it to this uh, needle and the next stitch is going to be a purl stitch just like this and then the next stitch is just to repeat uh, slide it without knitting yarn on the back so we have three purl four and then five it's done on five stitches and then again uh, yarn on the back just slide it don't knit that so it gives you that nice um, brioche look when we do this technique and the next five stitches is going to be purl so one two three four five okay i'm going to repeat that one more time so uh, so it's a multiple of 5 plus 2, that's what I said, but we need to do 10, right? Okay, Pl uh, multiple of 5 plus 2, the beginning and the end, I believe, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we did 5, and we're going to repeat what we did. So slide without knitting, as, as if to knit, but pick it up and move it to the other needle. And then purl 2 slide three purl four and slide without knitting on the needle as to as, as if to knit to pick it up and then the next five is purl so one two three four five i am planning to make a cardigan cardigan with this yarn uh, with the stitch with this yarn that I just showed you, I think it would turn out fantastic. It could be unisex, a woman can wear it, a man can wear it, and I want to put a zipper on it and let's see how, it, how that's going to turn out. Uh, that's my plan, but I have lots of whips. <laughs> 
So I need to focus on my whips and finish them. Okay, so we have five and we're gonna come and slide one, two, three, four, and the fifth one is a slide. So don't, if you get lost, you will know. So five purl, two, three, four, five. Okay, slide one, purl two, slide three, purl four, and slide five. Fantastic. And then the last stitch is just a knit stitch. So that's why we said two. Multiple of five plus two. Okay, now the wrong side is way easier. We're not going to do the slide on the wrong side. Just want to let you know. So I don't knit the stitch. So this slide that I did, but knit, here I'm going to purl that. Okay. And uh, the purl that I did on the wrong side, I'm just going to knit. Okay. The, the slide that I did, I'm going to purl that. Okay. I'm going to knit. Okay, so we have four. Okay, if you're working on the wrong side, here's another trick. Remember, we did five purl, and then we we did slide. So that's going to be a purl, and then the at the end is going to be a slide as well. So seven stitches are going to be purl. Here's another trick. One, if you get lost, you, you won't. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven. This is the slide one that we uh, we uh, slide it as as if to knit. Okay, so this is a purl stitch from the right side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to knit that. And the one that I didn't knit is a purl. Always when we're working on the wrong side. It is a purl. Slide, purl, and this one is a knit, I believe. Let me just check. Oh no. Okay. So when we're doing the wrong side, we should have two knits. Remember, I said at the front we have three knits. So that's another way that you, if you if you get lost, you will know that uh, uh, this this is uh, done. So I'm going to make a total of uh, seven pearls. So this is the five and uh, pearl, pearl. Just double checking. Just count the pearls. I don't want to do anything to four, five, six, and then the last one. This is a knit as we do a pearl. Okay, we're going to knit the stitch, pearl, knit, and then again we're going to do seven pearls. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. Uh, just double checking here. So two, four, six, seven. Okay, knit this one, purl this one, knit this one, purl this one, and the last one is a knit. Okay, this is how it looks like so far. But uh, I want to show you on this. Uh, okay, on the wrong side, this is how you know that there's two knits and then there's seven pearls in between 
but there's a purl in between here as well. So knit, purl, knit, and then the rest seven is uh, purl. And when you turn your work on the right side, you will see three knits. That's how I know. I did some uh, working on it, tried to figure out. Okay, so we're on the right side. So I'm going to repeat this, repeat what we did. So slide, purl, slide, purl, see, looks like I twisted this. Can you see? I don't like twisted, so I'm going to fix that. The way I am purling, it's twisting on the other side because I'm not doing uh, on over my neck, which I'm used to. It's hard to when you knit over my neck when I'm bending down. Okay, so okay, this wasn't supposed to be a this was supposed to be a slide. Okay, so we have two, four, five. Now I'm going to do purl. Okay, when I do it this way, it doesn't twist. But when I do it this way, it twists. And I do fix it at the other end, but sometimes I miss it. So uh, just be careful not to twist your uh, uh, your stitches. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look professional. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so slide, purl, slide, purl slide and uh, five pearls two three four five again slide pearl slide pearl slide Purl, slide, purl, slide, purl. Okay, just to be on the safe side, what did we do? I went over. I was thinking something else. <laughs> I had this uh, comment. Uh, how You make lots of mistakes. <laughs> I can't. I, th I don't think she was... Uh, <laughs> Well, I was thinking about that comment, and then uh, this is what I did. I went to too many times, so always count. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five, and then the rest are not slide. The rest are purl. Two, three, four, five, and then slide, purl, slide, purl, slide. She says uh, you make too many mistakes. I guess she, she was new to uh, knitting or crocheting. I can't remember which uh, tutorial I was doing. And I just giggled like, we're all human. We're not, uh, like, I'm not saying I, I've been knitting, crocheting 40 plus years, but still, I'm not a professional. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not, a, I am an expert. I am a professional, but I'm not, you know, we're all human beings. We make mistakes and I don't edit my tutorials. So therefore, uh, you see my mistakes, and uh, sometimes I make them on purpose for you guys to see. So this is the back of the work. So I'm going to repeat this couple of rows until, let me just show you. This is the front, until I have one, two, three, four ridges. Okay. So we're going to keep on doing the same. So I have two, so I'm going to do it two more ridges. So I'm going to knit the wrong side of the work. And I will come back to show you how to give that nice look, a trick. Okay, so keep on knitting as I showed you on the second row uh, on the pattern. Continue doing five purls, uh, one knit, one purl, one knit, and then five purls. And then I will see you back. Okay, so I have finished. This is how it looks like. So one, two, three, four ridges. That's the easiest way to count this. So we're going to do a trick to show off these uh, stitches out. It pops up when we do this technique. 
So what we're going to do this after finishing we knit we knit one row just knit just regular stitch just regular knitting on each stitch it doesn't matter if it's a purl you knit that and then we knit all the way to the end and automatically what happens is it pushes uh, it gives you that 3d effect look so here is one of the techniques that we knitters do knit or designers I don't know I never say that I'm a designer but I think I'm a designer I don't know what do you guys think <laughs> uh, so we knit all the way to the end this is the right side of the work when we come to the wrong side what we do is the wrong side is just pearl because it's a wrong wrong side the back side of the of the work okay so we finished okay and this is how it looks like from the back so on the wrong side we just do purl so I slide the, I don't knit the beginning and the end so uh, yeah, this is how I knit over my neck Turkish style or per Portuguese style the tension is uh, over my neck and I don't know I've been knitting like this for 40 plus years so I feel comfortable and I never make mistakes when I'm knitting this way Okay, let me finish this row and I'll be right back okay so this is how it looks like and this is how it looks like from the wrong side lots of pearls on the wrong side so what we're going to do is we're going to move these around so I'm gonna do the pearls here and the slide knit slide pearl knit here okay again five stitches so don't knit this first stitch So one pearl, two pearl, three pearl, four pearl, five pearl. Okay. And then I start the next one. So slide, pearl, slide, oops, pearl, slide, pearl. Okay, let me just go back and count. I don't want to do too many, two, four, yeah, I did too many. Well, uh, yeah, this is going to be pearl. So five pearls, two, three, four, five. And I repeat this all the way to the end. We're just changing uh, the stitch pattern. Okay, so it's going to be like this. So it's going to be like this when you look at the bottom. See, I did three here, but it's supposed to be four. I was working on the stitch but you will see that it looks like a checker right yeah boxes so two four five two four five and then slide purl slide purl slide and then one two three four five slide pearl slide pearl slide two four five and then pearl last five stitches four five and then knit knit and it gives me this nice edge that's what I want so uh, you got the deal you got the trick you got the way the wrong side is what I showed you on the on the beginning it's the same nothing else different it's just that we changed them around that's all we're doing okay so these are all are going to be pearl so two just like this okay and then we're here so we do the slide purl 
knit, purl, knit. Remember I said there's supposed to be two knits and then there's seven purls. Okay, so I am going to knit a couple of rows. I will finish this section. This is all I'm going to do, knit back and forth. And I will come back to show you how to change it again, just to uh, so you won't be lost. But I'm going to repeat what we did here. And then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I just wanted to show you. So I finished. But don't forget the knit and the purl on the back. That gives you that pop, right? That's what you need to do. So it gives you that pop. The stitch pops up. So don't forget that. I just wanted to show you before when you finish, do those uh, one row of knit and the wrong side do a purl. And then I'll be right back. Okay, so I have knit and purled and this is how it looks like isn't this fantastic i'm gonna call this the grandpa stitch hi <laughs> grandpa pattern i just love it because this yarn is thinner than the other one uh, the sample that i showed you earlier it looks way better okay so we're gonna start as we started at the beginning so uh slide it as if to knit yarn on the back purl slide purl and slide so we start a new row and then we change it and then there's going to be five stitches this is all we do okay and then again i am going to two four okay and then one more see it shows like the the previous stitch shows that i'm short so one purl slide purl slide and then you will see that i'm done so i'm going to do five purl and i'm going to repeat this all the way to the end so i'm going to knit like i did here four ridges and i will show you how it looks like isn't this fantastic see that trick just pops the stitch i just love it love it love it i'll be right back Ta-da! Doesn't this look lovely? Oh my goodness. Actually, I was working with another stitch and this came to my mind and I said I need to do a tutorial. I need to work on this. So uh, I'm going to go back and work on that stitch and I will come and do a tutorial. So I hope you like this uh, tutorial. I just love it, love it, love it. The texture, how this works and oh my goodness, love, love the design. If you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe share it with your family and friends and don't forget to hit that notification button so every time i post a new video you will be notified you guys take care and i'll see you on my next tutorial happy knitting bye bye